Have you guys ever been to a three-wheel dock? Check this out. So this is one of our crazy docks. Uh, we have to bring a 48-footer here, but we can say basically have to blind back on a blind corner to hit this blind dock. So, but here's another creep or Here's another thing about this dock. I don't know if you can see that. Check this out. That's on both sides. <laughs> yeah. People come down through here too. It's ridiculous. So, if you ever needed to change a tire, in this dock, you know, you could. Just funny. So, just thought I would show that. This is an interesting dock. Oh, and another thing is if you don't pull it just right, then the guy that picks up this container kind of bitches and complains about it. But, so this is one of those steep ass freaking docks. Drop and hook, thankfully. Uh, 48 foot piece of shit trailer, but just found that kind, kind of funny. So, this is a lovely trailer to be taken down to. Look at this hunk of shit, right? Going down to California in this? Look at this. <laughs> oh, love it. Love our hunk of shit trailers. Yeah. I think this is a, well, actually, I will tell you what it is. Oh, hopefully we don't lose any. Uh, the hub oil's kind of down a little. It's actually down a lot. So we're going to stick some hub oil in there because it is a thousand degrees outside and uh, make sure that we don't burn. I'll check all of them. We don't lose a uh, bearing, right? Oh, there we go. 98, 98 I think it says right there. It's either 95, 96, 98, something like that. Beautiful. All right. I'm gonna go fill that up with hot oil and get on the road. Something's going on over here in Henderson. The uh, Metro helicopter is cruising around. Um, so we did stick those, let's see, I'm in here. Yeah, 13 minute pre-trip, that's good. So I did stick those, uh, stick some oil in the hubs there. It only needed one squirt, which is good. That means it really wasn't empty, it was just low. Um, so we do have a 48 footer. Uh, so we do not need side uh, flaps or aerodynamicness or anything of that nature on a 48 foot trailer going into California. You only need that on a 53 footer. Make sure if you're running in the western states, especially when it's 110 degrees outside, um, always 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 unless it's a sealed hub what i mean by that is it's not gonna have a plug right you're not gonna be able to uh you know check the oil and the plug and all that stuff but make sure if anything that you check on these trailers uh in this type of heat always 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 watch that um Look at the hub oil because those bearings will burn up in this heat and you'll end up having a uh, axle actually pass you on the freeway and be like hey that guy's speeding so just a little safety tip of the day driving in this heat tires hub oil two most important thing when driving in anything over about 80 wow hello about 80, you know, 85 degrees outside because that road temperature gets pretty warm. So.
so. It looks like uh, California's back to, I guess, normal as far as the traffic goes. So, yeah, that is the opposite way from, uh, you know, people going home from LA. I am going towards LA. This is about the norm. That's about the norm. So, I can't wait to get down on the 605 and see how it goes. This is one of my favorite places to come to. Like, what the fuck is this shit, man? Look at this. So where are we gonna go with it? Maybe we'll go there. I don't know. Let's see what's up here. I love this shit. Look at this. Look at this fucking. Should we stick it here? Should we stick it right there? Fuck it. Let's try to stick it there. Let's see what we can do here. I know you can't see that, but let's try. Let's see how we do. You know what I love about this place? You can actually hit trailers and really get the shit. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. You're right in the fucking dock, buddy. that there was no trailer here. Look at that, buddy. I'm not going to. Yard Goat wants to come out here and do that shit they can. So, as you can see, there's the port of LA. There's the port of LA. This is the 110 freeway right here. So, awesome, man. Right. So I'm kind of on a break right now, but we're gonna go see if we can't find our trailer somewhere. Ooh, that was bright. So yeah, check it out. A little better view of the port. Port of LA, ladies and gentlemen. So it looks like a lot of ships are getting unloaded. Uh, unless they're just sitting there, I don't know. But yeah, this place is a shithole. Uh, like I said, we used to have a lot of stores here. Um, and since they opened up the new DC, uh, ba -ba -ba. it's nice outside, it's like 68 degrees. Better than 110. Um, so yeah, uh, you can see here. So they specifically put that uh, metal, they specifically put that metal sheathing on the corners of those trailers uh, because these fuckers kept running into them. And you know, usually we used to be able to drop on the side of the, uh, of the curb here, but what happened was the fire department came in here and pretty much fined them a shitload of money because they didn't listen and they kept putting the fucking trailers on the in the red here. Um, I got the yard goat behind me, so. Anyways, we're gonna go find our trailer. And uh, we're taking our break and get the fuck out. There's the beautiful, I don't know where the yard goat's going, so we're just gonna go ahead and go for it. There's, uh, there's the San Pedro. Uh, there's the San Pedro Hills, I think, I don't know. A bunch of rich fuckers living up there overpriced my my uh my thoughts on it but yeah look i could have i could have put the son of a bitch right there fuck usually there's no um there's no places to park back here but my trailer should be over around this corner bin thing here we'll see um i think there was another spot right here nope nope so this is my trailer. This is what I was saying. Look at that shit. How is that legal? Oh my god, look at that. 
both sides completely smashed shit. Well, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, all the fucking lights work. That's a goddamn surprise. By the way, you people drop trailers. Don't do this shit. It's so fucking annoying. Be a professional. Thought all the lights work. Yeah, buddy. So you can see how close they got this one. So we'll have to check it when we pull it out. This is just abuse right here. So the funny thing is, is at one point in time, um, we actually, see if the landing gear goes up. Uh, when we got our brand new trailers in, I think this was in 2000, because the company buys trailers every year. They just don't want to fork out the money to buy 48 footers for whatever reason. Um, this is the only store that actually uses 48 footers. So, that. Beautiful. We ain't gonna find no damage on this trailer. This is the Henchy trailer. Henchy. Um, so at one point in time, we were, um, we were, um, we were bringing our brand new trailers, and like I said, majority of our uh, stores, or a lot of our stores, actually came out of here. And, uh, I don't even remember how many loads, but a shitload of loads came out of here. Uh, so I think they were 2017 trailers, and these guys were just beating the shit out of them because there were so many trailers here. Like, you couldn't even move around. Um, as you can see, they stack trailers behind trailers, and sometimes you need to get those trailers that are behind those trailers. And you got to get Mr. Douchebag over here um, to move them. And a lot of the times they won't move them. So that's uh, at one point in time, boy, they were just beating the shit out of these trailers. I mean, it looks like they still are. Oh. So we had a guy um, that had a super condo sleeper that would come in here and pull these fucking trailers out. That was insane. Like I said, these guys here are supposed to help us. Where are they at? That guy there? The, uh... The, uh... The douchebag right there. Um, he's supposed to help us. But a lot of the times, they won't. What's good about this trailer is there's no markings on it, so... I can hit people and nobody would care. Alright, anyways, I'm just rambling. I'm gonna go, uh creep up to the guard shack. I think I got like 10 minutes left to drive. So I mean 10 minutes on my break. So yes, it is as dark as it looks. So there are no lights out here. I am back at the store. There's the moon. So let's go blind back this bitch. Yeah, so this is what you call getting out and looking, right? Holy shit. <laughs> you can't see shit. Alright, we got the flashlight on. So, as you can see, it's been hit many, many, many of times, and I actually put a brace here. But yeah, look at that. It's still pitch black, even with the, with the flashlight on. But, we're pretty much, uh, perfectly lined up so we'll just go ahead and straighten her out and this might have been a one shot or see what happens yeah I think if I keep going straight we should be good I know you can't see shit but you guys are looking at it as good as I am so the problem with it is we got this little barrier here. That's right here. 
So as you can see, as I turn in, uh, the rear of my tires. So that looks pretty good. I'll keep straightening her out. Maybe crank it a little, crank it a little bit just to get that ass in to move over. We'll see what happens. Hot damn! I think I'm gonna get her right in there. It looks like uh, pretty much straight in there. They did clean up this thing. Yeah. Looks like it's gonna go right back. Awesome. All right, so I had to do, do one pull up to straighten out the trailer. And we might be over to the, over this way a little far. Let's see. Oh, it's tight. Yeah. Uh, I think we're good. As you can see, this is a no bueno because there's a big gap here. So we're going to move it over. Uh, they would really bitch about that because then somebody could get in it. So, like I said, it's going to be fun because I don't have much room to play with. So we're going to have to move it over to the right a little bit. That's a little better, but uh, I think we're straight. Yeah, we're straight. Uh, so we're gonna go look at the other side. I think we are good. Yeah, we got a little bit of a gap, but that's okay because we're right in on this one. We are right in on it. Technically, we can come over about a foot, but. It's pretty much dead on on that. Oh! So the way this fucker sets, so you can see where the kingpin is, right? Relatively. So it's hitting. It's hitting this bar up there. You can see. It just made that dent right there. So the next guy's gonna be pissed because my truck sits up so high. But you can see that dead. Put a little dent in there. Forgot about that shit. Oh well. Beat it with a hammer. So like I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by the uh, smash there. Um, yeah, this is one of our most one of our more difficult docks that we're at. Um, let's see, I think it's like 1.15 in the morning. So, would I pick this up about one o'clock? So, a good 12 hour day, so 570 miles round trip. And I had to stop at my brother's shop and drop off some stuff. Um, that he ordered and sent to me. I will not disclose what that stuff is. Well, let's just say I live in Nevada and he lives in California. So, um, so I took a little longer of a route. I think it's probably like 10 miles out of route. So, anyways, we're gonna head home. We're bobtailed. Uh, we actually get to go off duty because I started here today. So, off-duty drive, and we're going home. Hope you enjoyed. If not, I don't care. This is all for me anyways, right? All right, we'll talk to you later.